Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss how to write a unit test case for the dependency injection. Before proceeding with this video, I recommend you please watch my previous part of the, this tutorial series where we have seen like how to write a unit test case for the for loop and even we have seen like how to write a unit test case for the like switch case. So I recommend you please watch previous part of this tutorial series. So before proceeding with the dependency injection unit test case, let's understand what is the dependency injection. So if you have created Angular application, then you are familiar with the dependency injection. Like when we have to use anything, like we have to call any data uh, from the API side. So generally what we do, we write that API in the service. So we create the service and in that service, we call the API. And then in the component side, whenever we need that particular service, so what we do, we inject that service uh, into the constructor using the, then using the instance, we use that one. So dependency injection is basically kind of in a design pattern in which a class requires dependencies from the external sources rather than creating them. So that is the dependency injection. Now. Uh, like for writing a dependency injection test case we have the three approaches through that what we can do we can check like our uh, code is calling to the particular service or not so that we can do using the test bed get method so test bed we have already seen briefly in the previous videos but for uh, now like we can understand like test bed is a mock environment to run angular component test without the browser so basically it's an important feature of an angular application so whenever we need to create an instance of the component or we have to run our like test case so this test bed help us to do such kind of the things so like we can write the dependency injection test case using the test get method even we can use the inject method that we will see and by overriding the component provider. So we will see all these three methods and we'll see like how we create the unit test case. So let's go to the Visual Studio code and here like currently what we have. So if you will go in the previous videos, what we have done, we created this service class and here you can see we have the same method is taking some information and then we are calling one dummy API. So basically it is returning whatever the output come from here. So this is student service is our service. So now we have to check like how to write a unit test case for this student service. So the first we will see using the test bed get method so for that one. What I will do first, let's uh, create service and we are going to write student service. So the type of this service is the student service. Now, next thing what we have to do, we have to initiate this service. So for initiating, let's write service equal to. So how we are going to do, we are going to use test word dot get. So here you can see basically this get method is, is a deprecated method means instead of that get what we can use, even we can use the let's write we can use the inject method also so like if you will write with this also we can write so first let's see with the get method so now inside this one we have to write the student service so here we have initiated our service object now let's write the unit test case so this one like i'm going to write uh, di unit test unit test case using test bed test bed get method now so how i'm going to check first i'm going to expect like so what i'm going to do now we what we will see like this particular service is called or not called so that we are going to see because now we have initiated at point of this time, we will see like this particular service is calling or not. So let's write. So service instance of student service. And then we are checking to be truthy. 
सो बेसिकली वॉट टू बी ट्रूथ इज चेक लाइक द सर्विस लाइक द इंस्टेंस ऑफ द स्टूडेंट सर्विस इज क्रिएटेड और नॉट क्रिएटेड नाउ लेट से सो एट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वी कैन सी हियर जीरो टेस्ट केस इज पासिंग नाउ इट शुड बी वन टेस्ट केस एंड वी कैन सी आवर टेस्ट केस इज पासिंग एंड इफ यू विल गो इन द ब्राउजर वी कैन सी लाइक आवर फर्स्ट टेस्ट केस इज पासिंग सो दिस इज द वे वी कैन चेक लाइक यूजिंग द टेस्ट वेट गेट मेथड वी कैन चेक लाइक आवर टेस्ट केस इज कॉलिंग टू दट सर्विस और नॉट नाउ हेयर वी कैन सी दिस गेट मेथड इज बेसिकली लाइक इट्स ए डेप्रिकेटेड सो हेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज डेप्रिकेटेड मैथड instead of that get if you use the inject so now if you will say the output will be the same like it will see the test case is passing even on the browser you can see the same so that's the first test case now next what we will do we can use the inject method in this test case so how we'll write it so now here di unit test case using inject method so for that one what we have to do generally we use the inject method so let's use the in inject method so inside this one you can see first is the array type of the token and next is the function so in that first one what we will use we will use the student service so let's write student service and next when you will see here it is using the function so inside this one what we will do we will instance so here basically we will taking the object so let's write instance service service of student service and after this one let's write so inside this one now here what we have done we have used the inject method inside this one first we are writing the student service and then we are like taking an instance service type and the type of this instance service is the student service now what we will check here we will expect like this one and here what we will check is this inject service to be truthy so let's save it so here now we should see two test case here and we can see the same and even without this one we can check expect expect instance of service like it's an instance of student service so that also we can check now let's save it so basically what we are uh, saying here like this student service is initialized or not so that we can see using this one now in next one what we are checking are like this instance service is the type of the student service or not so through that also we are checking so this is the way we can uh, write the unit test case for the dependency injection now next is by overwriting the component provider and how to write it so for writing that one first what we have to do we have to okay so first what we have to we have to extend or like we have to override this student service and for that one what we have to write here is so class so we have to give this class name so what i'm going to write mock student service extend student service and then inside this one what i am going to do i am going to write my own function so public new save method so this name i am going to give and from here i am returning the true so this method like what i have done here i have used the mock student service and it's inherited from the student service now next thing what we have to do like we have to use the override method so let's write it here so testbed dot override component and inside this one we have to write so it will be the parenthesis and inside this one what we have to do we have to write it so inside this one we have to test like so first we are overriding the component 
and then we are writing the student component so basically this component and then what we are doing we are setting the provider so basically the provide is the student service and then we are using the use class as a mock student service which we have initialized here so this is the way what we are doing we have override this existing component like so now this is the our new component now next what we have to do is let's first write the test case so it and here di unit test case with override and here so let's write so let element equal to fixture dot debug element dot injector injector dot get and what we are going to get we are going to get the student service and now we will check like expect this element instance of so instance of and this one we are checking with the mock student service and then like to be truthy so now let's save the changes and see like what result it gives so as of now it should give like three test cases should pass and we can see the same here and if we will go here we can see our all the test cases passing so in the third one basically what we are doing first we are extending that student service and we have created a new method inside this one and then we are overriding the component and here you can see so this overriding the component first we are initializing the component which we are having and then we are setting all the providers which is needed here and then in the unit test case what we are doing first we are getting the object of the student service and then checking like this element is an instance of this new class which we have created so this is the way of writing the unit test case uh, like um, for the dependency injection so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you